Let's continue with File Readers option. Navsbox, Options, File Readers, Revit. And let's find out everything about Convert Element IDs. So now it's clear. OK. Clear. And let's work with railings, for example. Let's back to Revit. Here's the view where we can see only railings. And we can take any one of them. For example, this one. And in Revit we can get the ID number. It's a unique number for every element in this program. And we can copy and we can find this element in Nervousworks. Let's back to Nervousworks. And we know that we have a tab element and we have an ID property for every element. It's because we have just uh, set this this tab and this property, this option all, all. So we are getting all the parameters from elements and from Revit types. And now we're interested in element parameters. And so we know that we can find our railing using the element tab and ID property. OK. Category element, the property ID, ID, condition equal, and let's paste it. Ctrl V and find all. Let's unhigh select it. And now we've just got our railing. But what can we see? We we see the railing here. Okay. And okay. And there is element, there is ID, there is his number. Okay, but there is not the last one object in Nevisworks. Nevisbook 3. This is a group, this is one object, and this is the last one. The last one in Revit in Nevisbook ARK in program. This is geometry, the geometry object. And this object doesn't have an element ID now. It doesn't have. And even this one doesn't have element ID. But we can tell Nevisworks. We need to we need and we want to have element ID to every element, not only in the group, but in the in the instance and in the even in the geometry. Sometimes we need it during clashing and another process. And we should know, and you should know, how to get this element ID in Nevisworks. So, let's go to Options, let's Convert Element IDs, and let's press OK. And now, we only need to refresh our model. Let's do it. And now, Nevisworks is making his deal, is converting the model again, make a new NWC file and he is rewriting the properties we need. And let's continue. Let's take the element, the geometry, the geometry, and now we have special tab, element ID. And at this level we have the element ID also. So if you need the element ID in the very end of Nevisworks element tree and in the last one element, in the geometry element, you only have to do the simple thing. Option and state this one. Yeah, it's getting more details and sometimes getting more complicated, but if you need, you can do it.